Okay, okay, okay. Third period without doing about Nernia. Greta Gerwig, the director of the Barbie movie. <laughs> She's going to direct the Narnia movies for Netflix. Now, how do I feel about Netflix as a company? I'm not a fan. Netflix, more like finish your shows. <laughs> so dumb. Um, I'm hyped. I am hyped though. Do I feel like Greta Gerwig will have the power to finish, do what the last person wasn't able to do do what the first person who'd made all the narnia movies bbc they made a tv show coming soon to bbc one the chronicles of narnia beginning with the lion the witch and the wardrobe c.s lewis's classic tale of magic and mystery in a faraway land The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, coming soon to BBC One. They made it to the silver chair, and then they ended it. They didn't even do the other books involved. They did Lion, the Witch, Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, Silver Chair. That's four books. There's seven books in the in the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, <laughs> what is this video about? This video is about how I think that they should do all the books in a row, chronologically. But it's not going to be chronologically, that's a lie. First book. Okay, so book one is Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe. Why am I doing book one? Because it makes the most sense to start with this book it's the most popular book out of all the movies of all the books okay everyone knows the lion witch and wardrobe there's been parodies about it i'm sure simpsons made a parody about it Hi, Aslan. robot chicken made one so you know <laughs> that's something the main thing that i want if I was to direct this movie, I want the beavers to be Canadian. Like, both of them. When I watched the movie recently, they had a... Well, at least... Well, I can't really do British accent. My my hair. My ancestors are rolling their grave. They come all the way to Canada and, they just, you know, lose all their British charm. Well, at least... For us. You're blooming joking! There we go. At least I still got the teeth for British people. Anyways. So... So, basically, they end that story, they're out in the, they come outside, right? They see the professor. Now, you haven't read the books, I'm spoiling at this point. They see the professor, right? And they're talking, they went to, Peter went to go talk to the professor about, like, oh, why we don't have our coats anymore. And he's like, listen, magical world, wardrobe, and... Lucy said, oh yeah, it's called Narnia. And then the professor goes, what? And then we see him do a big run to the wardrobe. He opens the door. And then Peter and Lucy are like, you good? Because they saw this guy, basically. We thought he was going to have a little, a little stroke, you know? Because he's old. And then old people have strokes. Or, like, brain cancer, I don't know. Anyways. Oh, that's so strong. Okay, so, now, we find ourselves... The professor's like, I went to Narnia. And it ends. That's how the movie ends. And then, we open to... The boy, the musicians, the musicians, the musicians, nephew. Magic boy's... Ne selling nephew which okay i'm gonna spoil this just in a few little bit because like it's not as interesting as the other books basically you know book of genesis the first book of the bible i'm pretty sure first or second don't judge me don't judge me 
anyways. <laughs> oh, Red Bull, my gosh. Anyways, basically it's that first book of the Bible, but with Narnia. So you want to read Genesis, you read, if you've read Genesis, you watch, you listen to the horses, boy. <laughs> you listen to the musician's nephew. It's good. It's good. Um, but you know, basically after that whole tale, the kids are like, you went to Narnia when it was first beginning? And he's like, yeah, fam. And what is in that? My gosh. Heart attack. Anyways, after that, we see, you know, they're just talking, talking about life. And then Lucy's like, did her like Peter. Ugh. It gets to the point where they're talking about them being kings and queens of Narnia. Kings and queens of Narnia. And it's like, the professor's like, and at the first point, we find out the professor's name's Diggory, and he went to Narnia with his friend Polly. I have a dog named Polly, I love her. Anyways. But yeah, basically, guys. Yeah. 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 Basically, they're talking about things that happened. They, it comes up that they've been living in Narnia for a while. I'm very interested in the fact, like, something that I wish we could, like, I feel like Greta will hopefully, like, talk about in Prince Caspian, because Chris, Prince Caspian isn't my favorite book. It, are, it is people's favorite books, but it's not my favorite book. I hope that people, like, Greta basically kind of, like, covers the fact that they were grown adults in Narnia. You know, like, the effect that would have on a child that they were once fully developed. Something that I can't relate. That's something that I'm going to have to relate to in, like, three years. No, two. They're fully developed adults, and now they're children again, and now they're back in this land. And there's something about the air in Narnia that makes them powerful and stronger. Um kind of cool i think it's just like a thing that just kind of happens if you went to narnia from our world you get like this air and it makes you, <laughs> makes you... <laughs> but yeah so they're in narnia they're in yeah it was something that they should talk about but basically now that they're you know they were adults in narnia the professor's like oh whoa that's kind of cool is there any cool stories about that and Lucy's like, my favorite story is about a horse and his boy. Okay, for not for you non-homeschool kids or horse girls, I don't judge. Uh, horse and his boy is like the best book debatably written about. Nar it's like such a different story from the like the other books. <laughs> Like this book is about a Nardian boy. It's like kind of, eh, I'm not going to say racist, but like, eh, I'm not one to talk. Like, look at me. I'm the ideal Narnian boy. I have blonde hair, blue eyes, okay? I'm a Narnian boy. <laughs> you look at me and you're like, oh. You look at I me. <laughs> and I'm someone's ideal person. I'm not going to say who, but you know. You me. look at me and you're like, oh. But yeah, if I know where he's from. this video, if you click this video, you listen to the horse and his boy. And I'm someone's copy, copy of it for a bookstore. Who, you know who. Pretty cheap. And look, it's good. But yeah, if Fun fact, I this video, if you click this, this video, you when I was listen the to the horse and his boy. boy. Or get a copy and of it for a bookstore. They asked me to read them like Pretty cheap. few pages of that book. And look, it's good. Like, it's fun fact, I got made fun book. of. People thought I couldn't read when I was reading the horse like, and his boy. And Anyways, they asked me to read them like guys, a few pages of that book. And I'm like, it's literally a children's book. But like, they but yeah, didn't believe they could um, read. Anyways, after they talk about the horse's boy, we get a cut to Prince Caspian. And then we get a cut to the voyage of the Dawn Treader. Then we get a cut to the silver chair. And then we get a cut to the last battle. That's it. That's all we gotta do, Greta. That's all you gotta fucking do.
Just make every single movie a book. Every single book a movie. Damn. And then you're good. You did it. You did what no one else could. Um, Casting, if you're wondering who I want, I don't care about the children. They just all got to be British. British? That's all. That's it. I mean, like... Could you imagine they made them not white? Oh, people would be so mad. I would love to talk about... I would love to see, like, the YouTube rants about that. Anyways. Um... Yeah, it's gotta be British and... I don't know about white. It's up to Greta. Greta, you do your thing, girl. <laughs> Greta, it's a timepiece movie, though, so they probably would make sense they're white. But, like, Greta, you do your thing. I believe in you. But yeah, um, for casting, again, Canadian Beavers, that's all I want, and Timothy Th Chalamet, because, you know, it's Greta, he should be in the movie, and he should be Mr. Thomas. Everyone else is British but him. We don't question it, we don't talk about it. <sighs> Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, also subscribe. I have a podcast too. Please watch our podcast. It's back up again, baby. <clears throat> and yeah, if you're wondering, I've been doing things. Okay, bye.